Well, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm out at a nice secret location uh, talking with a buddy. His name is Craig. Um, we're going to take a couple minutes here and look over some of his vehicles and uh, maybe we'll get a nice cold start on a 1956 Star Chief. Um, I'm going to swing the camera around and uh, introduce you just a second. Hello, Craig. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, sunny and 70 would be better, but hey, it's all right. <laughs> yes, it is a little nipply out here today. Uh, so uh, what do you got to show us today? Well, my uh, lifelong collection of uh, addiction here, I should say, of uh, Pontiacs. Uh, probably have way too many, but that's what I enjoy. So uh, here we are. Like we were talking about earlier, it's a disease. Yes, it is a <laughs> disease that I have yet to be cured from. Probably don't want to be, you know. Right. They say you gotta, you gotta admit you have a problem, you know. Yes, very so, much uh, so. I got a lot of cars out here, and uh, hopefully uh, we can help out with this transmission issue. And I really enjoy uh, anybody else that's uh, silly like I am and works on these old Pontiacs. <laughs> If I could help somebody out, that's what I'll do. And I've got a, I think a probably the largest collection of uh, 56 Pontiacs <laughs> of anybody else that I know of around uh, this part of the country, anyway. And, and that's just what you have currently. Yeah, from what yeah, I understand. I've, uh, yeah, I've been trying to. I've been trying to cut back. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't really do a lot with these cars much in the winter. I'm kind of a, I don't know, fair weather hobbyist, I guess. I don't heat this shop or anything, but uh, I do keep the cars out of the weather during the winter. And uh, I've got a 56 Star Chief over here that I've had a lot of years. Uh, picked it up out in Wyoming back in 2006. And I've had it. Pretty much gone through. I do all the work, everything myself. It's got a new interior in it. Uh, it was the exact duplicate of the factory leather uh, that come in the Star Chief. I had it done uh, SMS Auto Fabrics, uh, Auto Interiors out in uh, Oregon. That's kind of a uh, uh, love them or hate them situation. But yeah. They do fine work, um, but it usually takes a while. Um, I don't care to, uh, this car hadn't fired up for a little bit here, uh, but we'll try to fire it up and get it out of here. Don't have a lot of room in this building, so get it out here. We can take a little better look at it. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
tell you what. Be a little cold today. Yeah, but you know what? You can't my, beat that uh, sound. It's nice to know that my uh, old choke is working. <laughs> I don't really fire it up too much in cold weather, but yeah. Wow. Up a little bit. Just so you guys can hear that, that right there is a real muscle sound. <laughs> and this is the original paint you said, and just blue, the blue is the original paint. Which you guys in the in the camera here, you can see on the camera it looks blue, blue, but it's actually a greenish blue. I guess it's a uh, Catalina blue and Nimbus gray is the color combo on this car. Uh, it was a fairly, fairly uh, common color on them. You'll okay. see a lot of them. Uh, the white was resprayed at some point back in the day, and it had since faded off again. Which is pretty common Western car. Starting to smooth out a little bit. Yeah, that. yeah, it is. And you had it clear coated to save I, the. Uh, yeah, I went sanded this car down. Clear coated it. Uh, I do all that stuff myself. The clear coat uh, again is uh, the love it or I hate it. I guess I like it. Oh, I it protects the car. Yep. It keeps. I can drive through. I go through the car wash. Uh, everything stays really nice and slick. I can wax it up. It stays clean. See, I like that. It doesn't deteriorate any more than what it is. You know, some people like it. Some people don't. Alright. Early rest free car it has a little bit in that rocker on the driver's side. But every is so small to hold. Right. Well, and this was real steel back in the day. It ain't like the uh, yeah. uh, soda can cars we drive today either. <laughs> yeah, she is beautiful. She is just gorgeous. Oh yes. Pretty dim. Yeah, really I, I thought I was wondering if I was seen underneath uh, there. I don't have a real bright bulb in it. Pretty much everything on this car is the original uh, bulbs and things like that. Okay. It has about 70,000 original miles on it. Actually, over here, you may be familiar there. But oh. Here's one of the original T3 uh, headlamps. Wow. Uh, it's still there. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Now, I know this here was the top of the line uh, car. Were the, the V8 badges all in gold on these, or was that an option? As far as I know, yeah, they were all in gold. Okay. Man. She lets a look at that interior in here, guys. Yeah, all that's duplicated exactly. Wow. And it was just AM, correct? Deluxe Electromatic, as Pontiac called it. Yeah. You can get steering wheel redip. And yours has got the uh, the bars up there, I see yes. too. Yeah. Star Chiefs have the chrome bars on the on the roof. Wow. I love that. I, I gotta admit, I love that steering wheel with that. Uh, that acrylic around that Indian. Yeah. My other car has that same steering wheel, along with the exhaust tips that yours has. This, uh, this material right here, uh, to my knowledge, I've never found it anywhere else. These door panels uh, obviously were done the same time as the interior. Right. But there's only one place in the United States that makes that. That's SMS. Really? called holographic wow. chrome. You guys see that? That's beautiful. 
I I do aspire to uh, have my interior done like this, and I understand there's at least a two-year wait on this to get it done, and uh, yeah. a little bit of a checkbook. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? When it comes to bringing these back around, I think uh, you know because we don't buy these to hurry up, fix them up, basically put some lipstick on a pig and try and resell it at the market. We uh, we actually enjoy these. These are the cruisers. Yes. They're something we enjoy doing and tinkering on and and uh, yeah. yes. And if you can, uh, if you would, if you want to go bankrupt, Pontiac. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes. I notice uh, uh, like the different there other than some of the differences between mine and yours because uh, mine's just a chieftain yeah. it's got the different chrome package on the fender well and the back plus you've also got the I, I call them eyelids yeah. <laughs> on, I call them hooded, hooded tail lamps there we go yeah, yeah. but uh, I noticed you got those and then you've also got a different chrome strip the stainless that comes down through there it's a bit different than mine yeah. also well, this here door, flattens out two door hard tops got a different trim and right all that yeah and this car i drive this car and i do what i want with it i don't worry about it uh, it's a patina car it still has a lot of its original stuff and it shows that age and, and thing that's the way i prefer it I don't have to worry about every little nick or thing or getting it dirty or anything like that. Right. Uh, I enjoy it. Well. And I could restore a car at any point in time in the future, but they're only original ones. Yeah. And the reality is, uh, unfortunately, on most uh, 50s cars or any brand for that matter, if you restore one, you're going to be deeper in it than it's worth. Mm -hmm. So uh, I like to enjoy them just like they are. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, kudos and, and nothing wrong if you, I guess you got deep pocketbooks and you like building something and, and setting it in a garage and never enjoying it, but an actual driver and getting out and enjoying it, I mean. Yeah, where's that for me? Yeah, I mean, that's where, yeah, that's the money. <laughs> that's where uh, you get your payback, is being able to run and enjoy it. Uh, go around to their side, I'll show you them. A lot of people uh, enjoy this, um, but not too many of these really came with the Wonder Bar. Nice cold morning here, but we'll, we'll fire this up. And you can hear the hum of the tubes warming up. This is an all original, all original radio. Some of these get converted, things like that. This one's still running tubes, here we go. Wow. This car has the uh, optional rear speakers in it. You'll see the switch right here. Yeah. A lot of people's Pontiacs, they have that little hole in the top. People ask what that hole's for. That's what it's for. It was the, uh, they put the same dash bezel on whether you had the rear speakers or not. Really? So, well, look that's... up under yours, you'll see there's a hole cut in it. Okay. Uh, for that switch, and it switches between the front speaker or the rears. The volume or just uh, just where the sound comes from most oh. Pontiacs they don't have rear speakers in them it's only in this one over here yeah then you have your more stations knobs which adjust as your just the tune on the, uh, on the electromatic this really? is the electric antenna uh, that's the factory location and that runs the antenna up on the back wow this car has an electric antenna touch this it's kind of slow today but it moves so it'll it's automatic yeah you don't have to sit here and adjust on it you just push the bar and it's it's a auto seeking radio that's really all it is 
you know, modern day, you hit seek on the radio, that's what it does, that's what this And it basically is. goes to the strongest station. And it does, it, yeah, it picks up whatever the strongest station is. Oh, wow. That is neat. It's usually a little faster than that, but I think it's uh, pretty cold out here this morning. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Those are lubricated inside with grease. So really? on a real cool morning, you know, like it's been, I've cleaned it all out and I changed some tubes in it and I lubed everything back up. Wow. And it's, uh, Where in the world would you find the tubes for these? Actually, it was our, our uh, most favorite online auction company. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? You can find just about anything on there. Make world for sales. Wow. You just can't beat the sound. It's funny how slow that is on a 20 degree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on a 20 degree morning. It'll usually kick over. There it goes. Oh, wow. There we go. Digitize them or something. <laughs> it's going to keep seeking out those radio stations. Uh, that is me. With, with the infrastructure of the country. He doesn't just mean the unstable. Wow. You'd be amazed at. That's crazy. I did not know they had these back in the 50s. This is um, 56 was the first year this was an option. Really? Yeah. Now, with the history of Pontiac, 56 was actually a very experimental year yeah, with the 316, the transmission, uh, the the hard top, uh, the four door hard top, which is what I have. Yes. Um, they were a lot more performance uh, driven that year. Uh, four barrel was standard on Star Chief. Uh, dual exhaust um, was also come about in 56. Um, there was a lot of a lot of things come about. Uh, that year uh, 55 was you know the big thing was hey we got a v8 now let's get the v8 out there and in 56 they started doing everything a little more performance um, including the uh, nascar dual four barrel uh, setup right um, that i've uh, searched a lifetime to uh, acquire parts for <laughs> um, yeah they were good cars now do you uh do you uh, have a specific mindset for what that intake is going to be going on? That dual four? I probably this car, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. <laughs> it's one yeah. of those things uh, uh, you're not for sure if you want to mess with a good thing. Yeah, this one, uh, <laughs> this one is not pretty under the hood, but it's it's just pretty much all original. Yeah. And uh, you know, I haven't really messed with too much under there. And it's always been a really good running car. I drive it all over. So. That's what I look forward to. <laughs> well, you said it wasn't pretty. I was expecting something worse. Well, this is original. <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> to me. I mean. I was getting ready to say, <laughs> it don't matter. We, uh, it just takes time. Still got the original generator. I could not believe how expensive if you yeah. want, if you have to replace those are now. I'm glad mine still works, but yeah. And so you know what? Um, I did that brake master cylinder and that was I, I don't know like we were talking before sometimes we take stuff and we just make it complicated overly complicated but if you just take it and spread the parts out there maybe take pictures or something you know we got all these pocket you know memory devices right now so um, it's easy to do and and actually after talking with you I decided to rebuild that master cylinder and I, you know, and I did. I YouTube some of it so I could see it, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. Man. 
She is beautiful. Thank you for sharing this with us. She is beautiful. Gotta love that ignition switch location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flippers up here on two door hard tops. See how that folds around. Oh, that's right. I did see that somewhere that, uh, yeah, it comes down and covers it. Wow. <laughs> and she is beautiful. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to get off here and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more and uh, I'll get this up and out to you. But uh, you guys remember that uh, rusted and busted, you guys can make it happen. It doesn't matter the condition, the shape of it is. If you take the time and, and a little energy and, yeah, when it comes to these Pontiacs, a little money. Uh, you can make it happen. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It just takes some time. So you guys have a good weekend and uh, we'll talk to you later.